Welcome back to my channel and for those of you who are new, hello, my name is Magdalena Bujelski and today I'm going to be teaching you my five top favorite ways to tie a headscarf using all different kinds of scarves. Headscarves are awesome because not only are they super easy to wear, they are very lightweight and in the summer a wig can be very difficult, especially because it gets really hot, so headscarves are like a perfect alternative. Alrighty, let's get started. Okay, so for the first headscarf, you want a square scarf. So something that's not too big and is in the shape of a square. So what you're gonna do is you're going to fold it in half like a triangle, basically like this, just not all the way. So you're gonna kind of stop part way up and you're going to flip it over like this. And then you're gonna place it where you want on the back of your head. Like this. I'm just gonna gently pull this front piece upwards and I'm gonna like this and then Every time you're doing a headscarf, hello, it's gonna turn out differently, so don't worry. Every single time, I promise. All right, so when I have it where I want it, I'm just gonna tie a front knot, like so. And then at this stage, you can also kind of play around with it. And then I'm gonna tie a bow at the top. So you wanna make sure that it's tight enough that it's not gonna fall off, but also that it's not too tight. <laughs> that, uh, it's not gonna give you a headache. So for these remaining pieces of the front, um, if you want, you can find a funky way to kind of place it back, but I'm just gonna tuck it to the back right here and just kind of tuck it in nicely so it's out of my way. So then now with the knot, you kind of do what you want with it. If you like it the way it is, you can leave it, or if you want, you can kind of play around with it. And once you find out what you like, there you have it. So for this next look, you're going to want a rectangular shaped scarf. So like this one, pretty cute pineapple design for the summer. As you can see, it's oops, pretty long and it's also really thin. So the thinner the scarf, the more lightweight your head wrap's gonna be, the thicker the scarf, the heavier and more bulky it'll be. What you're going to do is you're just gonna place it on your head how you like it. And then you kind of want to make sure that you have it in the middle. So like both sides and the ends here are really even. And then you're gonna bring these sides back like so and then i'm gonna slowly move everything and bring the ends right here where i'm holding to my ear like this and i'm gonna tie this into a knot <laughs> beautiful you can always move things around as you go so tie it nice and secure once again not too tight to give yourself a headache but tight enough that it's gonna stay and if you like it like this feel free to wear it like this it's pretty cute especially with this outfit but if you want to take it one step further, you're going to take these two ends and you're just going to twist. Once you get all the way down to the bottom, you're going to twist this part around in a circle. And when you get to the end, you're just going to tuck the end pieces into the bun. And then you can kind of play around with the bun however you would like. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. You can also make the bun as tight as you'd like. The tighter, obviously, the more secure it'll be. And then there you have it. And if you think that this is not secure enough for you and you're scared that it's gonna fall out, you can always take an elastic band and wrap it around here and that'll just ensure that it stays in there nice and tight. So now I'm using a bit of a thicker scarf. Once again, it's a rectangular shaped scarf. It's nice and long, but it is quite thick. So for this look, what you're gonna do is you are going to take your scarf, once again, relatively in the middle, and you're gonna fold over a little bit like this. And you're gonna flip that around. And you're gonna put that at the back of your head. And then you're gonna bring your hands forward, scrunch up both of the sides like this, hello. And like in the previous one, you're going to twist. Once you are done twisting all the way to the bottom, you are going to make a bun. So as you can see, because I'm using a much thicker scarf, my bun is much, much thicker at the top of my head here. And once again, I'm going to just tuck in the extra ones underneath here. If you want, you can keep the frills out as a part of your look. I just prefer not to, so I'm just gonna tuck them in. You can again play around with your bun. You can make it more up, more down to the side. And there you are, that's the final look. This one is, yes, a little bit bigger, but I think this is really cool. It really makes a statement. It's actually pretty cozy. It's pretty cute. 
So the next look, we are going to make a crown on our head because we are all queens and deserve to wear a crown sometimes. We're gonna take a rectangular scarf once again and we're just gonna place it on our heads how we like it, like so. Bring these middle parts to the back. Just like with our pineapple scarf, we're gonna bring it to the side a little bit. Then once again, we're going to twist all the way down. So when you twist it down all the way to the bottom, you're just going to place it over top. So it's really up to you to decide whether you want it kind of more at the front or more at the back. I have mine more up like this. And you're just gonna keep twisting. And then when you get to the back, you're just gonna tuck it in here, like so. Since everything is tucked, it's pretty secure. And same thing with the frills, just kind of tuck them in as you go. Ooh. Ooh. Also, if you buy a scarf with frills and the frills really annoy you, you just cut them off. And last but not least, and I did save the easiest for last. So for this one, this is actually a Polish traditional headscarf called a husta. So basically just a giant square scarf. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make it into a triangle. So I'm gonna fold it in half, like so. And then, whoosh, Place it on my head. This, and these are so beautiful, but like, oh my goodness. Okay. Mm. You can always go like this. I mean, hey, this is easy. No one knows whether you got hair or not underneath there. But anyways, <laughs> what you're gonna do is make sure the sides are even on both sides. And then you're just going to basically take these two ends and under your neck here, you're just gonna cross sides. Soup. Go left. Also, there's just something about the look of headscarves with hoop earrings. It just looks so good. Anyways, I'm gonna do it like this, even it out, and all you're gonna do is take these two ends to the back and tie a knot. All you're gonna do. And fix it to the front, and there you have it. So easy peasy, just literally one knot. Very comfortable, there's nothing weighing on top of my head and it looks really beautiful. So if you want, you can kind of bring it to the side like this to show off the beautiful designs. If you want, you can keep it to the back. Um, if you want, you can always kind of keep twisting these parts and make it into a big bun. Alrighty, and those are my top five favorite head scarves to wear at the moment. Where did I get these scarves? Well, honestly, most of them I already had, but where to buy them? I've seen lots of beautiful head scarves at places such as Marshalls and Winners, really anywhere you can buy accessories. It's not that you have to get something that's labeled a head scarf per se. These are all just regular scarves that you can buy for everyday life. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And you all know what I'm about to say here. Know yourself, know your body. Until next time.